Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be colouring in this book by Kirby Rosanne's Fragile World. And the illustration I'm going to be colouring is the one that you can see here on the cover. So this one here. And I'm going to prep the page with a gesso. Now this is the first time that I've actually done this. I've seen other people do it. Um, and I thought I would give it a go for my first time. So I think I actually might have used a little bit too much. Um, but I put three blobs on, one a bit bigger than the others. And then I decided to use this, this roller to evenly spread it out. Now what you have to be careful with, with the roller, is that it can leave um, where the edge of the roller is. It can leave a little line if you're not careful and that's what happened on mine. Um, it's not too obvious and it doesn't really bother me too much. But just be mindful that if you do do this, do make sure that it's all smoothed out. So you can see that there is quite a lot of gesso on that page. And if I did it again, I wouldn't put quite so much on. Be aware as well, if you're putting gesso on your page, it is going to dull down the line art. So as you can see here, um, the line art is very faint now. You can also put gesso on with paint brushes, but I just find um, it's better with a roller so you don't get those um, strokes, brush strokes on the page. So I am using the gouache paints by Artex. I'll link them in the description. I did get them in the Amazon Prime Day deals. I forgot how much I paid for them, but it was a good deal. And the gorgeous paints to work with. I've never used gouache before. Um, so yeah, it's been really fun to test these out and experiment. So... I don't know if I already mentioned or not, because my memory is so bad. Um, but I am trying to recreate um, what Kirby Roseanne did on the front cover of Fragile World. So here I'm trying to rec recreate the same colours he used. So you will sort of... You might see me stalling at times to um, look at my reference and just check where my colour placements are going but I've loved every minute of colouring this little turtle really really enjoyed it also for the main part I am just using a cheap set of brushes off Amazon but at some point I also do use um, my Princeton Neptune now, the more expensive brushes do hold lots more water, so they are nicer to work with. But, you know, you still get the same sort of result with the cheap brushes. That's fine to use. So I was, the colours, sort of colours that I was using on this turtle of a sort of blues, greens, um, turquoise, lime greens yellows, oranges, a little bit of pink and red, not too much. But yeah, mainly it was blues, greens, yellows and oranges that I used on this page. So I did decide to film this as a time lapse. Um, as I say, the children have been home um, for, some, for the summer holidays now. So... Um, they're always here, they're always needing me. Um, so I, when I time lapse it, I am able to um, sort of stop and start filming, if you will. And then I thought I would put the little voice over, over it because people do like the, conv the conversation at the same time. So this palette that you get with these Artex gouache paints is really nice as well. You get you actually get two palettes because the lid um, acts as a palette and then you have a sort of removable tray as well that you can use as a palette. So I didn't have to clean 
I don't think I did anyway. I don't think I had to clean my palettes off. I think all my colours were able to be laid out and I was just picking and choosing as I went along what colours I wanted to use at that particular time. So in hindsight, um, where I'm laying down this colour now, I wouldn't have been so particular about what what colours I was putting down because um, in the end I do decide to go over with some um, black detailing. So yeah, my colouring that part was pretty pointless I think. <laughs> so when I was initially doing the turtle's body as well, I did look up at his back at all the details on there and I thought oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this is a bit daunting. Now we've got to the really detailed bits. But actually with the watercolour, it was really it was really enjoyable. It was really nice to do. It's not the same as if you're trying to do individual little details with pencils. The watercolours flow and they make everything so much easier to colour and so much enjoyable. I do recommend to just just give it a go. If you're intimidated, if you're scared, just give it a go. You might surprise yourself. Um, this was, like I say, it was the first time that I'd gessoed the page first. It gives it a lovely texture and it, it makes it so it's the paper is able to take more water. So it was really lovely to not have to worry about any pilling or anything like that. I will definitely be doing it again. Definitely. So I do just try and build on some colours as well. You might just see me um, going over some of the same areas over and over again just to build it up. And it also depends on what sort of effect you want as to um, how you build it up. Um, you could put one colour down and then put another colour with it so they merge together, which is sort of wet on wet. Or you could put one colour down, allow it to dry and then go in with more colour over the top. You can do a mixture of the both over the page. Um, you can just play around and I think that's pretty much what I did on this page. I just played around. It was really fun. So I'm just going to pop some music over for a bit and I'll explain what I'm doing a little further into the video. Do enjoy and stick with me to the end. Do hit the thumbs up if you've not already done so and subscribe if you're new. Catch you soon.
So this is where I decide to go in with the background before I continue with the sea turtle. So I'm just using a really cheap black acrylic paint here. Um, in hindsight, I really should order some of the DecoArt Americana black paint. It's more matte than this one. There we go. You can see the end result there. And you can see how it's got a shine to it. I don't really like that shine, but the DecoArt Americana one dries more matte than that. So I do need to order myself um, some. So... Now that's blacked out all the background, it looks more like the front cover of Kirby Roseanne's book. And I'm going in with the remainder of the page now with all the gouache. So really, really fun. Enjoy me finishing the rest of this page.
of the very last parts that I do to this page is to pick out um, areas that I want black. Now I'm using the Micron pens for this. I think this was the size 2 that I used. And then I actually decided to, rather than try and fill them in with this because it was running out a little bit, I would use the um, this brush one here. So it's still a Micron pen. It came in the pack that I um, purchased off Amazon. Um, but it's really good for filling in those gaps. So those ones I just decided to go around, fill in some little details, and then back to these little, I don't know what they're called. What are they, does anyone know what they're called? The little patterns? Um, but yeah, I fill all those in black. It was really fun to see it come to life once I started adding all these little details in. And you can add as much or as little as you like. Um, I was just sort of looking at the front cover of Kirby Roseanne's Fragile World page at this image. And I was just try, trying to pick out some of the bits that he'd done black and do that myself. Um, obviously, I didn't do every single little detail. But I just picked out what I thought would look good. It was quite time consuming to do this part. Um, not as much as the watercolouring, but you know, it was the what I think the watercolouring was more fun than this part. <laughs> so you can see what I meant um earlier on when I said it was pretty pointless me colouring all those in watercolour because I have just gone over them. But I didn't realise I wanted to go over those until the end. So I'm going to move on. I think there's another little thin, fin, 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 if that's what they're called on sea turtles. <laughs> this little one was quite quick to do. So this is pretty much all I'm doing now. So I'm picking out all the black details and I will continue to work my, work my way up um, on to the sea turtles back and just pick out random areas for darkness. So I'll let you enjoy the music and I'll see you at the end.
so that's the page finished i could have kept going and kept going with the black details i mean you could go overkill you could just pick little parts out that you want to do um i might go in and do a few more little bits here and there but you got the gist of what i was doing um so yeah i did try my best to recreate the front cover which was this so yeah i don't think it turned out too bad it's quite nice i do need to get myself a different um acrylic though i think i need to pick up a deco art um acrylic paint this one's a bit shiny this cheap acrylic paint that i got but other than that i'm pretty happy with that little sea turtle <laughs> and the little bubbles Please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.